This episode of The Map is brought to you by the STJFL and its major partner, Crips, the Master Baker. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to this big grad match. It is the STJFL under 12s action here at Queenborough. See the Sandy Bay boys running out there. Should be an absolute beauty. Joined in commentary by Martin Duffy. Uh, pleasure to have you along, Duff. Thanks for inviting me along, uh, Triff. It is great to be here, and you can see the Sandy Bay boys out first, out early, very keen to get limbered up and ready for this big match against the Clarence under-12s. Now, there is Clarence under-12s, just waiting in there, waiting for the word. Great shot here, Duff. Yeah, yeah. I hope they don't knock over our cameraman, our mate, Robbie. But here they come, the Clarence boys. It's the Clarence side. They are coached by Mark Drury, of course. Sandy Bay coached by Jason Code. See what there's some interesting hairstyles there. Look out! Yep. And there are uh, the two coaches, uh, the two marks, I do believe. Young Lewis Drury returning. Yeah. He's been out about nine weeks, I believe, uh, with a broken wrist. Yeah. That um, was sustained in, in round two against the Brighton. So it'll be interesting to see how he uh, he lines up today. Well, you'd be thinking he'd be, you know, a bit slightly down on match fitness. Mm. Although his father, Mark, is a bit of a fitness freak. Right. He's probably had him at the gym, you know, working him hard on the treadmill keeping the aerobic capacity up and running. Here's a clever, look, really quick kick there from Jack's startup. Oh, he hasn't come off though. He's paid that mark. Gee, I reckon that went about nine metres. That's all right though. Oh, good courage there by a little Sandy Bay player. That's Tom there? Wright, mate. Tommy Wright. Yeah, number seven, Tom Wright. There he is again, a very impressive young Tom. Goes in and gets that hard ball. Every team needs a player like that. Here's Mazen Garb. Dougie Mazen Garb kicks along. There's a race on for it now, too quick. Picks it up, he's got a bit of time. It's going towards the goal, and it's through. Look like Tom Reeves with the goal, the number 36, I believe. Right on quarter time there, Triff. They'd be happy with Sandy Bay there. They've fought really hard in that first quarter, and the late goal, just when you don't expect it, that can really pump up the boys going into the second quarter. It couldn't have come at a better time, really, for Tom Reeves. It was just too quick for his opponent there. Sandy Bay, one straight six. Clarence, just the one behind. So we listen in to so the coach's Sandra instructions. Comes down here, we're being pretty good. We're pre being pretty consistent getting it out of there. Yep, I think Will, so Will, Will's right. Okay, and the midfielders, it's up to you guys as well. Okay, a couple of times they've got the ball out in the pocket. Okay, and there's guys just sitting in the middle screaming out for the footy for them. You've got to get in front of Hodge all the time, Greeny. Play yeah, front. Can't, Will can't, Jackson. You stay, stay in our 50. Just yeah. We're locking it in. Yeah, you've got to lock it in there. Your, your thing about being able to play behind on other, other players has always worked. You've actually been in front Truth, of Truth, I'd say this is a strategy that mm. Drury's taken from Sandy Bay over to Clarence uh -huh. and they've kept it going. <laughs> but why not? Why not? Share the love, I say. Whenever the ball's coming, you act as a magnet to it, all right? But stay in front of you, push him behind you. Um, Marcus. Uh, well, we, we're playing really well on the back line. Just need to keep with our mans and try not to get sucked up into the play up there because that's what happened just when they scored that goal. We just okay. got sucked up into the, the only, play. What's the only time you should be getting sucked up into that into that other area? If Tell me. No? If or if their player's going up, right? Yeah. You've got to cover the player. But don't you gravitate up, all right? Look out of half back now. First to it would be Scott. Scott, nice use of the hand pass, finds Adams. Adams usually uses it well this time, no exception. Oh, did well. Couldn't bring down the mark, but was clever enough just to keep his eyes on it. Tried to get a pass as a man running pass was Tyron Shadwick. They do run well for each other this side. Riley Morton has it back now. Chip kick, centimetre perfect there, I say. Jack Adams has it now on the boundary line. Wants to go with the check side. I think he's put it through. Goal on par, he has. Start up. It's a quick left foot kick out of congestion. First to it, though, Harry Island. Island finds Cotia. Cotia with the barrel goes down towards half forward. Good stuff. Beautiful work. And then got the hand pass away, did Nettleford. Nettleford got it to Reeves. Back to Nettleford now. Tip kick in front of his teammate. Should run onto this and kick the goal. He kick it. Oh, he just lets it go. Depends what you're in the mood for, I suppose. Sometimes it's great to see a goal fest. Sometimes this is this is what I love about our game. Yeah, that's right. Second best game in the world, Duff. <laughs> <laughs> Twisting and turning. Oh, it might be a chance on goal. He shrugged that off. Don't tell me he's put that through. He has. We well, all are kidding me for Protney. How did he get the through, Duff? <laughs> wow. That just came from nowhere. That's got to be goal of the year, just about. That is year. a couple of great goals throughout this match. Smothered off the boot. Putting their bodies on the line. They're still putting it on the line, Duff. This late into the match, they still believe they're a chance. 
Gee, great footy there. But Protney goes out wide. This might be a chance here. Goes close to the boundary line. It comes back in for him. Ah! He gets it from the boundary line if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> well, Chip, there hasn't been what? many goals, but the goals we've seen have been very good. Comes out off the hands of Hunter Sweet. Been good early. Oh, courage shown by the Tigers, man. He would have heard Josh Hine coming. Heard him coming from a long way. Hine takes a good mark. So goal scorers, Simon Pearce with one Hunter Sweet, one Campbell Baker. That's for Kingborough. And the sole goal scored by Sam Alderton for Lindisfarne. Here's Simon Pearce. He's had so much of the ball in this second quarter. He's getting that ball in that inner centre area. It's really causing them some havoc. He's setting up nicely from there. That's where they're getting all their run at the moment. The Tigers. Oh, picked up. Might be a chance again. Good looking kick it was. Looked like Hunter Sweet. Couldn't quite see his number. Yeah, he's got those green boots on. Oh, good work. Did well. Got in, got hard that hard ball. And then got the hand pass away. And Swart takes a mark. Holds onto a finger tipper. Diggers first to the ball. Didn't have enough, said the umpire. I've got the ball at ground level anyway, the diggers. And half forward now for Linders. Farn, a big chance here now. Looks like, is it Josh Hine? I can't quite see his number. No, it isn't. Ah, oh, beautiful work. Runs in towards the goal there. Daniel McKersha kicks a great goal. Hugo. That goal square again looking very dangerous. Linders Farn trying to find a way through there is Harris. Harris, can he get boot to ball? He does, and he got it under. Twisting and turning. Campbell Baker. Oh, this is dangerous now. If Sweet gets hold of this, is a certain goal. He does so. Nice work. And Buddy Franklin like dribbles it along the ground there, Hunter Sweet. Straight up, he picks a couple of guys and up they go. Salzburger from the side tried to fly and tap it down to his teammate. But here's a, some turnover footy here. And young Maine Brown did really well. And he got himself into a bit of space. Gee, it's a kick on goal. It's a good kick on goal. Might have been young McKenzie, I think. I think it is. On Duff TV. Watched him for the last couple of years. He's exciting package. But I'll tell you what, Panetta Rapelli, because Seaborn, the left footer, kicks it deep to full forward. But just got a few numbers here. Turnover, left footer. Oh. Snap in. Now, is that a goal, Aleph? Was it touched? That's his goal, mate. It is a goal, and Swanee, Dane Aleph with his first, well, left hand ball in back into traffic was, went askew. He's got to get rid of it now. He did well. McKenzie going forward. Still a chance here. Can they get a bit of clean footy? They can indeed through Billy Bogus. Kick around the corner. Still a chance here. The Roos, they'd love to someone to kick. Pick up and snap. Is this going to be McKenzie? Goal! Oh. Sam McKenzie kicks a beauty. So the Tigers will clear from the defensive area. Oh, but it's been snatched out of the pack well, this, here. This is McKenzie again. He's been superb. Kick on goal. Right on the goal line. The big guy then too. <laughs> well, look at the bursting tackle. Did well. Not only did he stop a certain goal, he burst out of defence with an outstanding bit of football. We're from the Eastern Shore. Whistle's gone, it's going to go the way of Kingborough, I believe. Moves it on quick, they do like the play on this side. Defender was in front, but off hands, Kingborough, quick kick on goal, which way will it bounce, but who for a goal? Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Sorry, Sorry. back down to the under 17s, I can tell you. <laughs> oh, look at this from Sidesen, gets around a couple, kicks on goal, please be a goal, it is. Here they go again, Triff. Finding his way through, nice looking kick down there towards the forward. Oh, did he hold on to that? He did. Zeitzen is a one-man highlights reel. What is going on? That's that a fantastic mark. I do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to my, my daily bread, Crips Master Loaf. Be it wise, wholemeal, or nine grain. I will enjoy freedom from artificial preservatives. In a bread crafted from pure Tasmanian flour. And we love how it tastes. I will rise.
rise to the occasion. Munching on only the freshest loaves. Baked daily at Cripps since 1878. I will proudly fly the Cripps flag. In a toast to this great nation. We call Tasmania. Upon this, I swear. Cripps Masterloaf. Tasmanians swear by it.